Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Today guys, we have the Ahsoka pitch meeting. It's here. I've been waiting for this. I'm like, he's probably going to do one. It's probably going to happen and it's here. And I'm assuming here, even though it's not fully showing, I'm assuming it's going to say spoilers ahead. So be forewarned. I overall enjoyed Ahsoka. I overall enjoyed the show. I had a great time with it. And I feel like they did a really good job of setting up Thrawn and everything and all, all the Anakin stuff in the mix. And I truly really enjoyed the show. Yes, there were things they could have done better. And the fact is there's a, there's a certain character that should have been included that was not and all that. And this is all leading to you know, Dave Filoni's Heir to the Empire film and all that. But uh, yeah, let's dive in. Let's see what they talk about. Because there are some things definitely to talk about in terms of this pitch meeting. So we'll see if he actually addresses them. I'm assuming he will. Let's dive in. Ahsoka pitch meeting. Let's go. And I'll be pausing if I have to. So, you have a new idea for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking it'd be really cool if we did Ahsoka. <laughs> well, listen, I'm open to anything, but I do usually bathe alone. No, like we'd make a Star Wars show about the character Ahsoka Tano. Oh, okay, yeah, well, oh. we are due to plop some new content on Disney+. Plus. Oh, yes. yeah, due for yes. a big plopping. And what's going on with Ahsoka? What's her deal? Well, she stands around with her arms crossed and a little smirk on her face. Okay, okay, what else? Not much. Oh, okay. Yeah, very <laughs> stoic and smirky and fair, never anything. Fair, fair point. So anyway, Fair she point. wants to find this map that could lead to this bad guy, Thrawn. Oh, bad guys love having secret maps that lead to them. They sure do, sir. But when she gets <laughs> this map, these bad droids pop out that were also yeah. sent to get the map. And after losing a fight, they self-destruct with a massive explosion. Wouldn't that risk destroying the map they were sent to get? Technically, yeah, I guess so. Weird programming. Well, okay then. So anyway, now Ahsoka <laughs> okay. can't figure out this map because it's a ball. So she brings it yeah. to her old apprentice, Sabine, because she does art or something. That makes sense, sure. And Sabine's <laughs> sneaks off with this thing and figures out you can open it by turning it a certain way. Nobody had tried that? Apparently not. But they're still gonna try. By this evil apprentice lady, Shin. I, oh, okay, so okay. Dies. What? No, 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 no. She was no, no. impaled with a lightsaber. Why would that? Is that not bad? Not anymore. No, that's meaningless. She's up and at him in the next episode. Well, okay then. Okay. okay. Fair point. Fair point. I was gonna pause a little earlier about the robots exploding because, yeah, that is a fair point. What if their self-destruct would have destroyed the actual map itself that Ahsoka took? Yes. Uh, fair point. The stabbing, yeah, once again, there's a lot of questions around that because, you know, it's like <laughs> freaking you know, Qui-Gon said Obi-Wan. Qui-Gon, like he dies from the stab, but every other time someone gets stabbed, they're fine. It seems like for some reason Qui-Gon's the only one for some reason that just can't survive stabbing. Anyways, okay, fair point. Fair point. Yeah, we're recording. I'm just double checking. All right, let's continue. So. Well, okay then. So who was this uh, Tibia person that attacked her? Shin. What did I say? Well, Shin is the <laughs> apprentice of this guy, Balin, who has Jedi powers and yeah. the best beard in the galaxy. Yes. And they rescue this lady, Morgan Elsbeth, because they all want to go rescue Thrawn, who's stuck in another galaxy. Not good. So now that Sabine is recovered from being tickled by a lightsaber, her and Ahsoka need to stop all that bad stuff from happening. So what do they do? Well, they freaking chase the bad guys down to this big old space hyper ring thing, but then their ship gets disabled. So they gotta fight. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah so Ahsoka gets out nice of face. her ship and fights these bad guys with her lightsaber. That was cool, sabers. though. What it was mean? cool, like, but. fire at her, so she deflects those shots, and then she kills one of them when they <laughs> swoop in next to her. Why wouldn't the bad guys just stay slightly far away from their disabled ship and fire at them instead of swooping in at lightsaber? Oh my lady? god. Unclear, but so that's okay. the nearby. That's a fair point. Unclear why, have some my why would they do that? Why would they just stay away and just fire and destroy the ship? Fair point. Fair, I, I got nothing for that. Fair, boy, my mic's in the way. Go back a little smidge. All right. Here, but so then on a nearby Unclear. planet, Ahsoka's gonna manage to kill a fart. Uh, stop it! A fart is tight. And then she's gonna lose a fight against that, was that good. alien guy who sends her into the ocean that was a good for fight a too. swim for a death. Oh no! Yeah, so then she's gonna spend a whole episode in the world between worlds, hanging Loved out it. with Anakin's ghost. Loved so it. What kind of change does she go through? Well, she learns that it's better to live than to die. Did she not know that? Apparently not. And now she's gonna dress in light clothes. That's so basic. But okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we might as well spend an episode on a wardrobe change. But meanwhile, Sabine made a deal with the bad guys to give them yeah. the map. What? Why? Well, see, her good friend Ezra Bridger might still be alive in the same galaxy as Thrawn, so in exchange for the map, it was a fair, bring her there. It was too. fair. This Thrawn guy can't be that big of a deal if she's doing something like that. <laughs> He'll bring war and genocide to their galaxy. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so they head over to look, this other... Look, Sabine was in a really tough position. I get the point, but Sabine was in a really tough position because she, at that point as well, and he's not really addressing it, she saw Ahsoka die... So she had really nothing left. She also didn't know Hera and them were actually showing up 
right behind them and everything. So she thought she had no other choice. I get it because like if, if there's a potential that Ezra's alive, you also don't want Thrawn to come back, which ultimately happens. So did she make the right decision? Some people may say yes, because Ezra did eventually get home at the end of the show. But Thrawn did too. He came back. So I don't know. They head over Fair to point. this other galaxy with that hyperspace ring, and now Ahsoka has to figure out how to get there too. Well, it sounds like that's going to be impossible. The bad guys have to use a giant hyperspace ring. Actually, it's going to be super easy. I knew it. Barely an I knew it. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, giant space whales can hyperspace travel too. So Ahsoka gets in one of those. She gets inside a whale. She gets inside a whale. <laughs> how does she know that the space whale is going to the exact same spot that the bad guys did? Well, she doesn't. Unclear. She totally does. Oh well, great. So then we meet Thrawn, who, as it turns out, is a smirky blue guy with a bunch of storm. Troopers. Very scary. Yeah. He allows Sabine to go find Ezra, which she does almost immediately. So he was pretty close. Yeah, pretty by. fast. Yeah, kind of shocking that the bad guys never found him. To be honest, he was like, he was right there. Wow. Well, so I wonder if they actually were trying to look for him, but they didn't care. Oh boy, not particularly. No. And then they just kind of slowly make their way back. How does he react to her selling out the galaxy to find him? Oh, she doesn't tell him anything. Oh. So then they just kind of hang out. Which is an issue. Make their way back. Well, I mean, I guess if there's no rush. Actually, Thrawn told her if she wasn't back by the time his ship was loaded up with cargo, they'd leave her here in the galaxy stranded well, but anyway turns out thrawn was sneaky what do you mean well, technically they said they'd let her find ezra but they didn't say anything about not killing her after that oh that is sneaky <laughs> yeah he tells the other bad guys yeah. look you cannot can't trust thrawn. the jedi okay you simply can't so what does he do he sends two tie fighters after them he says he doesn't want to waste resources <laughs> so later they're surrounded by storm it doesn't troopers matter Ahsoka is above timing her landing yeah. onto the planet oh so she swoops in well no she decides no. to land next to balin oh yeah and so she fights him a little bit but then she's like, I don't good. have time I enjoyed for it. this, and she runs off to her friend. But, she's... but she chose to land there. Okay, she yeah, did. she and did choose to go, even though. Yeah. All the stormtroopers forget that they're holding guns. Well, great. So eventually, <laughs> the good guys make it to Thrawn's tower that he's about to fly away from, and they have to fight a bunch more stormtroopers. Yeah, it was cool. Going up against a bunch more stormtroopers. That's. Well, I wouldn't say dangerous, but kind not of, really dangerous. Kind no. of a roadblock. Yeah, barely. So they kill <laughs> a stumble. All pretty quick. Right. Yeah. But then get this: since Thrawn is working with some witches, all these stormtroopers zombies. Come back as like zombies. Yeah. Oh, wait. So like slower stormtroopers that are worse at fighting. Yeah. That doesn't seem like much of a threat. It's Point. not really no. So they get away quite quickly again. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So now Thrawn sense. sends that Morgan lady to go fight them and yep. slow them down. Wow. So what does she do? She immediately lets Ezra and Sabine walk right past her. Okay. And then she fights. Don't know why, but pretty quickly as well all right and then sabine and ezra are going to be fight. fighting some bad guys and sabine's finally going to be able to use the force she's been trying to do that this whole series oh well good for her yeah so then she uses the force to send ezra flying onto thrawn's ship that's taking off she's just immediately that good at using the force yes well okay then so now yeah, and that's Ahsoka a are stuck. that's a fair point because i mean it 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 went from in that moment of needing to pull the lightsaber to pushing ezra a little too much of a jump but I don't know. <laughs> I got now nothing. Sabine and Ahsoka are stuck in this galaxy, but Ezra gets back home. How does he manage that? Well, he dresses up as a stormtrooper and steals the ship, and when he gets onto a good guy, he takes about his it. helmet off to reveal it's him. But they could have killed him. Why didn't yeah. he already have that off? Dramatic effect. And Dramat nothing. Yeah, it was dramatic. Well, this entire yeah. series was just kind of Ahsoka and Sabine switching places with Ezra and Thrawn. Yeah, and yes. Sabine trading the well-being of an entire galaxy for one guy, and then nobody calling her out on that. Oh, my God. Maybe missing a little something. Kind of feels I mean, they like did a Dress it, but the game—it was more content. like a, your yeah, gamble I mean, that's worked. That's one way to look at it. We can certainly dive into that if you like, or we slap a nostalgia cameo into this and call it a day. Yeah, that works. Let's <laughs> that do that. Works. That works. Oh my god, that totally Hi, works. Ryan George here. Thank you so much for watching that. That was video. good. I hope you enjoyed it as always. That was good. That was so good. Yeah, the C-3PO cameo at the end. I mean, right, did it really need to happen? No. Uh, but if it wasn't the C-3PO, it would have been Leia. It would have been deep fake Leia. Um, this was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, made a lot of fair points about how <laughs> she just immediately could use the force to push Ezra up and how no one really calls her on it. Even though the only thing really Ahsoka mentions like, well, your gamble paid off because Ezra is here. But other than that, no, it really wasn't addressed again. Like, it's time to move on. What? Um... And the fact that, you know, I mentioned this too, how Morgan spent all this time since Mandalorian season two, all this time to get Thrawn back. And then she doesn't, she's not even able to go with him. She's, she dies on that planet. 
so that he can get back. She was willing to go that far with her own life and to become something new from the Night Sisters or whatever. And then she doesn't even make it off the planet. So, yeah, there's a lot of debate about if Ahsoka Season 2 is going to happen or if it's going to be the Thrawn movie next. Um, I personally think it's going to be the Thrawn movie next and that Ahsoka Season 2 will be, take place after the movie, but that's just me. I have no clue, no idea what they're doing. Because, you know, that movie may be several years off and they may do the Ahsoka Season 2 to kind of lead more into that and then we do the Thrawn movie. We'll see. But this is really well done. Pitch meetings are always fun to react to and to enjoy or just to watch in general. And uh, yeah, this was good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I'm curious to know what you guys thought about his pitch meeting for Ahsoka. Do you think he made some good points? I feel like he did. Uh, he made amazing points. He made pretty much all the points I was kind of expecting for the most part. And uh, going through the whole zombie and stuff like, oh, so they even were stormtroopers. <laughs> now they're slower zombies. Fair point. Uh, and yeah, it, it all was just kind of crazy. It was like a lot of fast paced stuff and some certain things he was kind of over, not, like not really explaining more, but in general, that's, he got the gist of it. That's really what matters. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.